Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Grant Speller and this is ECU Reviews. Um, in this video we are going to be reviewing the new Velocity Pro Gear 4.5 backpack. I reviewed the 5.0 backpack about a year ago and it done really well. Now since then Velocity have brought out numerous back bags but they've only done one backpack until now. So this is the baby brother of the 5.0. Um, it's slightly smaller and I think it's going to appeal to a lot more people uh, being this small, including me. Um, the other backpack, the 5.0 is really good. It was big. Obviously the bigger bag you have, the more stuff you're going to put in it. So depending on what you do, if you're on site or you've got to travel a lot, you know, depending on why you've got a backpack um, rather than just a shoulder bag. Um, they brought out a 4.5 which is actually a quite good in between because it's slightly smaller, um, it's pretty compact. So without further ado, come in a bit closer and I'll show you what you get inside the bag. Okay, so on the front of the bag we have got the hard pouch case. Uh, just the same as the 5.0. If you open that up, it's got two pockets in there, neoprene pockets, and it also comes with a uni light. Now, the, this uni light is the same you can get with uh, high vis vests and stuff like that. This uni light, which is actually comes pre charged already. Does three different things. This actually goes in the slot up the top here. Um, so there's a zip, you can see that there's a zip there. You undo that zip and slot it in behind in there, which is great. So if you're wearing it, um, walking about, you can have it flashing, or if you're on a site, um, it can light up the area where you're working, things like that. Um, but it's a nice little touch, nice little touch from uh, Velocity. So that it comes with that. Uh, same again, comes with these straps which you can just unclip. It comes with straps, just undo those, and you have a pocket which is relatively deep, almost goes down to the bottom, or at least to the hard shell of the case. Uh, it has a, a couple of straps which you can uh, pull out, three straps in there. You could put your tablet, things like that. So I have a, I have a tablet here that fits in there quite nicely. So you could fit, fit that in there, or some paperwork, book, anything like that. Um, okay, so from there, so that's what I would call the. This is what we call the front of the bag. And uh, call it the back, you call it wherever you like. I know there's some comments on the previous video, but um, this generally has where your a lot of your hand tools into this side, so it could be called as the front. Um, so inside this part of the bag, front or back, has similar features to the other one. It has a pocket inside, inside there for any small small bits. Uh, like a card holder in now and pockets for screwdrivers, adjustables, uh, anything like that really. Um, it also has, uh, it's, it's got two big pockets down there, it's got one, two, three, four, five pockets for potentially screwdrivers, um, no matter what you trade, um, spanners, anything like that. Then you've got elasticated pockets at the top here, you have five of those up there. You have your uh, your clips here where you can put your insulation tape and, and, and things like that on. And you have another large pocket at the back there that you could slide something in. You also get a, a bit of gap, a bit of room in there. I'm not sure if you can see it. Just outside the big pocket. So you could put things in there like, um, this is an 18, uh, 12 volt impact which fits in now you can fit that in now quite nicely but it also go in the back as well so that's that side so if you go to the side one side you've got the velcro straps again 
you could fit multi-tool. Uh, if you're a plumber, you guess your gas tank in now, you could probably get a level in now. Um, there's all kinds of things you can do, do with that side. Um, you have a ring there to put, hook any bits onto. And on the other side, you have uh, another ring to hook stuff onto. And you have two small pockets, potentially pens, for example. So you've got a larger pocket in the middle, so like a neoprene pocket which is a little bit elasticated. You could put something slightly larger in there. Now from the side, we've just we've got the back. It comes with uh, a really robust strap system for going around your, your waist, uh, support for the top, um, exactly the same as the other bag. They just release by pulling the little strap down and pulling it up and they're magnetic to go back on. So a really clever system. It has padding on the back to help your back when you're wearing it. And we'll have a look inside. So inside the back, it's like you get a shoulder strap, which go onto the outside rings. So you could put it around your shoulder as well. Don't think you got that with the uh, the large one, the 5.0. So that's a nice, nice little feature there if you wanted to use it. Um, in the front part of this bag, or the it's another Velcro, very similar, large pocket. You could fit if you wanted to a tablet, notepad, quite nicely inside there. Then you've got two like neoprene pockets. Again, very elasticated. You can put some large stuff in there. You've got another clear pouch inside at the top here that you can put bits in. And then you have on the inside down low, you've got a pocket with Velcro on. That you can lift up. It's like a neoprene one again, uh, elasticated. You can put in there. Uh, whatever you want to put in there. Uh, you've got three little pockets next to it, which uh, look like you could put pens or something like that in there. They're not massive holes for pockets, um, but I'm sure you could fit drill bits, all kinds of things in there. And then right on the end, if you can see, you get a strap in there with a clip. So you could actually clip something in to stop it wobbling around in the back. And same again, you, you can easily fit your impact. I'm sure an 18 volt would fit in there. This is quite roomy. 18 volt would fit in there quite nicely, but I carry a lot of 12 volt stuff um, because it's it's nice and compact. And that fits in there perfectly. Um, you could probably fit another one in there as well. So that is the bag. Um, there's loads of room in the bottom, and you've got a great hard, hard walkproof shell on the bottom. So it's a quite, it's a really rugged bag, and um, I think it would be a great, a great bag to use. Um, so that's again the handle on this one is slightly different to the 5.0. You've got like a finger, I don't know if you could see that in there. You've got sort of like finger indents in there. So when you're carrying it, it actually, it falls into the place of your fingers quite nicely and it's quite a soft rubber um, and feels really good compared to the uh, the 5.0, which is a little bit harder. Um, so they've really worked on the design here and I think they've done a, done a great job with this. So it comes in two colors. As far as I'm aware in the UK anyway, uh, the orange and black, and they do the grey and black. If you like this tool bag and you are interested in getting one of these for yourself, you could win this backpack. It's going to be entered into a competition, which the details for that competition is going to be on my website. If you go into the description below, the link for my website is on there. Go on to competition and all the details will be on there for your chance to win this Velocity Pro Gear 4.5 backpack. Thanks for watching everyone. Please like, comment and subscribe. Ring the bell 
and I will see you in the next one.